So we're doing a science lesson um, about uh, planning a fair test. It's a year six group, mixed ability group. They're all going to be working in mixed ability pairs um, and hopefully they'll all come up with an interesting experiment um, to investigate. We're going to be using um, a post-it note method which is where um, they identify all the factors that could affect their experiment with using post-it notes um, on a template which they can then turn into a, a really clinical scientific question. They all um, have the ability to choose anything that they want to investigate as long as it's something we can do in school. So all of the factors that they came, they, there were 10 or 12 factors that they came up with as a class um, and then they chose the one that they, want, they, they thought was most interesting to investigate. What you were thinking is if, <coughs> if we did it on a ratio of time to wait, so let's say we will have a set time of two minutes okay. and we'll wait at the start and after that two minutes, we'll weigh each lump of ice. Yeah. In, in, um, assuming the time that we are um, leaving it for wouldn't have melted all the ice, and the lightest one would have melted the most, um, melted the most, and the heaviest one. So, that's the weight, but you're comparing it to time as well. Yeah. Okay. So if I do weight to time, yeah, well, sounds like an excellent idea. Okay, what we need to do now is, you should all come up with, does the, that's your factor, affect how long it takes for the ice to melt? And this bit here is with the factor that you're changing. So, I'm going to do, I would think, I would like to know whether or not the surface area of the ice affects how quickly it melts. And to do that, I am going to pinch your idea and pour the water that has melted into some kind of measure. Okay? That then tells me that my question is, does the surface area of a piece of ice affect how long it takes for the ice to melt? You're going to use water all the time, but you're going to have a surrounding liquid around it. See if that affects it and how quickly it melts. Those liquids, you need to make sure they stay at the same temperature, which is going to be quite hard. So you need to measure all of those. So your orange needs to be the same temperature as your motor oil and, and your milk or whatever it is that you have them in. Okay. Yeah? So your factor in here, what you're going to change is a new factor that we didn't come up with. Your new factor is surrounding liquid. You'll have to call it something like that. Um, how are you going to measure that? Um, photos and wait at the end drain it after a certain amount of time and see if there's any ice left yeah okay that'll work so that's what you're going to measure and then you need to put all your other factors in there